sits on your desktop and it makes 3D models for you. And the way that it does is you put things on this, this turntable and it turns around and lasers shoot at it and a camera takes a picture of each small incremental turn. And then from that data, it creates a point cloud which it then wraps and turns into a mesh that you can make on your 3D printer. It's kind of like a photocopier. If you put a photo on a photocopier, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. On this model, you've got the beard of the gnome. On the copy of this that's made with the MakerBot digitizer, you lose a little bit of the beard, the beard, the, the creases in the beard. You can always do post-processing. So if you wanted to go in and add those details into the beard later, you could do that. If there are parts that the camera can't see, then they won't show up in the 3D model. And we've actually, if there's parts that are hidden, it will, where there's maybe like a deep hole that it can't see into, it'll fill that in. So if you make, let's say you put a mug here, it won't be able to see all the way inside the mug because the camera's over here. So you could either set the mug on a, uh, kind of to the side to be able to get the inside of it, or you could do it straight up and then uh, make a modification when the model's done. I think there's really obvious uses for engineers, industrial designers, and architects. A product of this kind hasn't existed yet, so it will be an adventure to see what people do with it.